I mean, it really, it flows pretty decent. If you look closely at the hood of your car, you'll see tiny little chips of paint taken away by rock and debris. And these little chips can start to accumulate little spots of rust. So it's important to get these cleaned up. This is the Duplicolor Scratch Fix All-in-One paint pen. So you can see it's Toyota and I got magnetic gray. So it's specific to the color of Toyota. And here's instructions. And the pen has different tips to it. So one is a kind of an abrasive tip that removes paint and excess rust. And then there is a narrow tip for the paint applicator and a brush tip for more wider areas. And then there is a tip to put a sealant, a clear coat sealant on there. So all of it is in one pen. So you can see the various tips on there and there are instructions on this QR code how to do it. So we're gonna follow those instructions. But uh, yeah, this is specific to the vehicle manufacturer. The color match is supposed to be identical. We'll see how that uh, works out. Here on the tailgate, you can kind of see some of the scratches and, and smudges, but those are actual scratches uh, put in here. So I'm gonna see if that uh, paint can help get rid of those too and, and patch those up before any sort of rust develops. So the first step is we are using this abrasive tip here and we are going to rub some of these little divots and get the debris and rust out of them. So you can see that cleans that up pretty nice. It gets that rust out of there. So we're gonna do that for each little chip and prep them all. Now common areas to look for chips are just right along the hood here. And then also along these pillars, there's a few little chips and dings here. So we'll get those. And also around the back, there's some larger pieces. Now this isn't really meant for uh, retouching up large areas. It's more for just like the little spots to try to prevent rust and to kind of smooth it out and make it look a little bit better. So you don't need to worry about the plastic areas like this when they have the, the divots and the chips out of them because the plastic isn't gonna rust. You really wanna worry about the, the metal areas. That's where you wanna get the most of the repair done. So you can really see some of the scratches on the lift gate here. So we're gonna to try to get those out and blend those in and see how well that turns out. So here's a long scratch down the side from a tree branch and we probably won't worry too much about that scratch. It's not super deep. Now that all the paint chips are cleaned up, you can really see them stand out really well. All those little white spots from being all cleaned up from rust. The next step is to clean each spot with some alcohol, uh, just to clean off any sort of grime and dust and debris, because we want to make sure that we have a very good adhesion to the, for the paint. So here's the various tips that are included. So here's the abrasive tip. You take this off. And there's the fine tip for the paint. Put that back on. And then in here, you untwist this. And here's a larger brush for larger pieces of uh, chips to fix. And then here is the clear coat applicator. Okay, so you can see it just kind of leaves a, a spot. But we just let it level out. I'm gonna go along each spot. I mean, it really, it flows pretty decent. And it really fills up that, those little chips and dings. So we'll see, you're supposed to let it sit for 30 minutes and let it kind of level out. And that color looks pretty, pretty close. It looks pretty much like a match. We'll see how it dries. So for this larger area, I'm just going to try the brush and see how that goes. Actually, it actually works really well. It's 
kind of like erasing them. We could put a second coat of paint if we need to fill it up a little bit more. Otherwise, then we just put the sealant, the gloss sealant over it. So now that the paint has dried, you can see that it has leveled out. You can see it's nice and flat there. So I've given it a good 30 minutes, probably closer to an hour to completely dry out. Now for the last step is the clear coat applicator. So that's the sealer, that's a glossy coat. And that's on the opposite side of this pen. Basically, just unscrew it, you have that applicator. And you just lightly dab it. And that should level out also. And then we'll go around the car and do all of the other little spots. Dab these along here and let them dry and kind of level out. Then we'll come back once it's all dry and just kind of see how it all looked. You can see there along the side of the front, there's a pin stripe along the side and it extended all the way down here. And here you can see where I put the, uh, just kind of that clear coat along it and it almost just disappears. It just blends right in. And right there is where I did not put clear coat. So you can kind of compare no clear coat and clear coat. So that pinstripe was pretty superficial. It wasn't through the paint. It was just through that outer surface layer. And so just by putting the clear coat on there, it almost just erases it right there. It's just almost gone. So that's real nice. So here we are in just the natural sunlight and you can get a good sense at how the little paint chips have covered up and sealed themselves up and how they look in natural daylight. So, I mean, it's not like a perfect finish at all, but it certainly covers up a lot of the spots, at least helps protect them against rust and helps prevent them from spreading or getting worse. So when you look up real close, you can, you can see and kind of feel a little ridge. It's not perfect, but for $20 for one of those pens and you can touch up little nicks and scrapes as the years go by that's a pretty good deal we can take a look at the side view here this was that pinstripe along the side I just put that sealant on there and it is almost completely gone you can barely see that and let's go around to the back overall looks pretty good